I always say that I'll get you to the best spot to get the best shot. And today that spot is here in the mountains above Simonstown, about a hour's drive from Cape Town. And then it took us another 30 minute hike into the mountains to get to this beautiful location. Now once again I'm playing with the new Fuji uh, X-T1. And I was told that this baby has got a very high ISO capability. So that's why we are here. I would like to take photographs of the stars at night, the Milky Way. <clears throat> and uh, for that I'm going to select a f3.5. I'm going to bump up the ISO to about 1600. And I'm going to start off with a exposure time of 30 seconds. Which they tell me this camera can handle very very easily. If I then find that my exposures aren't right, I'll start adjusting. If the picture's too dark, underexposed, I need more light, I will bump up my ISO. I take it from 1,600 to 3,200, uh, maybe even 6,400. Um, if I find that the picture is too light, I will drop my ISO or I might even shorten my exposure time. But I'll leave my uh, lens opening around about f3.5. Um, and that's the reason why we are here so early. Although we're going to take photo offs at night, you always want to get a little bit earlier. You can get your composition right, you can get your focus right. And then it's just a matter of time of waiting for the light to be right and then you can start shooting. The other thing that I'm quite excited to try on this camera is that it has got a built-in interval shooting. So what that means is you can take a whole lot of photographs uh, consecutively. And that's typically what we use when we are going to shoot uh, star trails. Now if you leave your camera shutter open for too long to get the movement of the stars, um, the sensor heats up and you get too much noise. So the best way to go about it is to take a whole lot of short photographs. Boom, 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 30 seconds at a time. And then afterwards we use um, software to stack it together to give you those beautiful star trails. South is directly that way and that's the way I'm going to be pointing the camera. And that way I get those beautiful turns. So I'm going to attempt to set that all up inside the camera. I read the instruction book earlier this afternoon. Um, and I'm going to start off with the f5.6, um, 200 ISO. I'll do one 30 second exposure just to check that I'm happy with my exposure times. And then I'm going to set the, con the interval timer inside the camera menu. And from there on I'll take a couple of con consecutive shots and stack them afterwards. Let's hope that it all works out fine and that I can find my way back to the car in the dark. Remember we get you to the best spots to get the best shots.